It is a nice day out here. Nice day for working. Two broken teeth. So this is in a really rough shape here. All this stuff. Look like out. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and today I want to get the uh, swing motor off of this excavator to see what's going on with it. All right, I pulled this bolt out of one of those holes down there. You can already see holes at the top of the ring here are missing. But watch when I move this left to right. So this is my setup here. I've got a uh, winch connected to the car here um, and I am going to uh, strap it to this pulley up here on this tree and uh, hopefully pull this uh, swing motor straight up and out so I can look at it. So in order to do that, I need to uh, cap off these uh, hydraulic lines. I've got some uh, connectors over here. Uh, at least four lines I gotta pull off, then I gotta pull off some bolts and then I can Hopefully just winch it straight up here. I've got a vacuum right here because what I'm going to do, they say to put a suction on the hydraulic fluid so it doesn't go everywhere. So I think I can just pop this open here like so. And all right, so I've got this PVC. So I can just kind of push it right there and it makes a pretty good connection. Let me put that in there. Yeah, that's a pretty good connection right there. So I can just turn on the vacuum. That should give it some negative pressure. Right, I'm just going to try to loosen this. I don't think it's on here very tight. Yeah, that's not that's not very tight. All right. I'm going to need the uh, male end, I believe. Is that the right size? Oh, man. I bet. I hope this is the right size. You got a vacuum going. Oh, yeah, that fits. Too easy, I say. So now, let's just take these off. Let me lower this boom down first. Give me some more room over here. That just gives me a little bit more room right here. These are all like finger tight. Okay, oh, before I, oh, okay, that one. I can turn on the vacuum before I do anything with that one, but they're very loose. Let me see if this one's loose too. turned off Let's take this out and eh, kind of low on hydraulic fluid probably need to add some but do that later put that on there all right we're almost ready to uh take the few bolts we have around here and pull this out i've got this long bar with this 22 mil millimeter bolt on the end and i think I can just loosen all these nuts in here. Oh, yeah. oh, that one wasn't even tight. There should be 10 on here. And there's only five. Yeah, all of these uh, bolts are bent. I'm gonna have to get some new bolts. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, just pull this out of here. Let's hope this branch holds up the weight of this swing motor. That should be good like that. 
There we go. I think this is about 200 pounds, maybe a little more. So let's see. Is it? Did I miss a bolt? Let me make sure I got all the bolts. Yeah, it's coming up. Quick look down there. Oh, look at all that fluid. Well, look at that gear right there. That's definitely worn down. Oh, really bad on that tooth right there. Uh, let's, let's get in here and see if we can see. Oh, yeah. I see broken teeth here. Look, that whole gear is going to need to be replaced. Look at that. I can tell you right now. That is completely broken. That, that one, that one's partially broken. Broken, broken, broken. I think we need to suck all that oil out of here and then uh, evaluate this a little bit more. But uh, I think we're going to have to replace this swing gear. Those are uh, two broken teeth right next to each other. Here's one, two, and another two that are right next to and, that, and there's a third one. Yeah, so this is in a really rough shape here. One, two, three, four, five. Five bolts in this thing. These other bolts were completely out. The other five. Let's see. What do we do now? Pick this whole machine up. Take that swing gear off. That'll be a fun project. basketball hoop got in my way here. I'm going to have to uh, adjust the boom. In order to clean up all the grime and debris in this, uh, around the swing gear here, I have to continually move the bucket about every, uh, uh, I don't know, 15 degrees and then stop. Because that's the only window that opens up in that location on the swing gear, if that makes sense. Surprisingly, it's pretty easy to push this boom around. I think it weighs about 8,000 pounds. It must be greased pretty well. I didn't realize it was going to be glazed. That's so cool. That's so pretty. I recruited my son to help me push the boom around. While I, blah, 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 I can't talk today, while I used the vacuum, uh, and that was a lot easier, but uh, it was incredible the amount of grime and bolts and metal debris that I sucked up on every turn of this bone. I'll show you a little bit later of all the stuff that I captured. It's even right. Keep going. All right, that's 12 o'clock. All right, go. And we'll go on counter clockwise. 
All right, and we're coming up on nine o'clock right now. Nine o'clock, okay. And we're coming up on six o'clock right now, okay. And then finally we're coming back on, oh, hit the mill. Three o'clock right now. And go back to 12 o'clock and we'll stop. And 12 o'clock right now. Okay, you can hold it. That is 12 o'clock. And as you can see, most of the broken teeth are when the boom is right over the front of the machine. Look at all that that came out. I mean, that is a lot of metal pieces. Look, okay, there's even a bolt down there. Broken bolt. Just a lot of chips. Flakes of teeth that broke off. I mean, that's a massive piece of tooth that just broke off right there. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I've started welding a little bit on this gear where you can see that it just got torn away by all those uh, metal pieces that have broken off in there. Uh, the, the, the metal didn't come off of this gear, it came off of the, uh, the ring gear in there. Um, but I built it up a little bit here. Um, you can see it already got wet a little bit, so it rusted. So. Uh, it's definitely a different type of metal than this not as hard um, so that's why I'm wondering if it's just not a good idea but uh, I'm gonna try to just build up this a little bit here I mean that's really damaged right there uh, but maybe just the bottom section I'll try to build up a little bit grind it down to get it off uh, somewhat uh, somewhat better looking than that so it'll so these teeth will fit in the gear a little bit better I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. So let me turn this around a little bit to see if you can see kind of what I did here. I didn't hit every spline here, but uh, basically put a little bit of weld at the bottom of these because that's where it was most worn down. Um, and then some of these were pretty messed up um, where I put some weld in here and ground it out. Uh, I didn't touch that one, but you can see I put some here. This one I hit pretty hard. So if I can strengthen that up and get rid of the debris a little bit, then uh, maybe this can grab a little bit better. So it's not gonna be grinding on that stuff anymore. All right, so we got the winch hooked back up. We're ready to put the swing motor back on, but I got the, this other truck in the way. So we gotta come all the way out here. Good that this is a really long winch. To try to winch this back up here on top and drop it down. Now, the great thing about this winch is it came with a wireless remote, so Let's see how that works from way out here. First time testing. Oh yeah, that'll work great. Well, that comes in handy, the wireless part of it. All right, so let's see if we can get this up there. All right, so it's hanging. That's good. I got this board. Ooh, here we go. Got this board on here to protect uh, protect the body. All right. All right, I'm going to lower this down and then I'm going to try to put washers and lock washers and a washer on each one. Like that, and I got new washer. Uh, I got new bolts. Actually, this is an old one. I got uh, ten new bolts for this. There we are. 
this is so easy with this winch. Now we just need to line it up. All right. Are good? At least one hole lined up, right? Alright guys, I got all 10 of these bolts in here. Kind of excited I got it lined up and all 10 bolts fit in the holes. So I'm tightening it up now. So hopefully 10 bolts will, uh, you know, get this, well, well, we'll see what kind of difference it makes. One thing I did was I, I turned this thing around the actual correct way. Um, well, where this drain pipe goes out over here and where everything lines up. Someone who ever replaced this before may not have put this on the right way. It probably should fit over here. So before I tighten these all the way down, I, I need to see if I can get these hoses on over here. There's not a ton of ton of space. Hopefully that won't be a problem. All right, so I picked up three 90 degree fittings here. All right, I'm gonna try to put them on here so we can turn and hopefully attach all of these lines. Okay, well, I didn't take you through all that, but this is what I did. I had to go out and purchase some fittings, two here to get a 90 and another 90 to get to that one, a 90 there and a 90 there. This is a JIS. These two were ORFs or O-ring. So it's a tight fit, but I was able to squeeze it in. I turned this one 180 degrees so I could fit up that cable, and this one was loose enough to run it around there let's make sure it's not pinching or anything i don't think it is all right let's start this thing up this is the first time i've done this But uh, hey, the good thing is it's not like shaking violently like it was before. That's a Completely loose down there. This was my vacuum setup. That worked great, by the way. Oh man, I am low. I've lost a lot of hydraulic fluid. Okay, I've got, I, I can see the bottom. I gotta put some more fluid in there. I don't want to put too much in here because I still need to fix a couple leaks. very good with the excavator controls it's gonna take me a while to get used to them but uh, I can already tell this is doing much better the swing motor part of it just for the little work I've done for cleaning out um, just all that junk in there it's uh, it's not grinding on all that stuff and jumping and uh, it's much a much smoother operation obviously I still want to replace that ring gear but that'll be another project down the road Anyway, I still got a few more trees I got to take down. Um, uh, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to this excavator. It's the first time I've ever used one. I've got a few more projects around here lined up with this machine.
So just to give you a sense of the size, I mean, I'm about six feet tall and this is about six feet. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of roots holding this root ball in. So uh, a lot of them are wedged under rocks. These plants, they love it. They love uh, these wet areas. I don't even know what this plant is called. Let's figure out what this is. A black willow, okay. It's not like the weeping willow over there. Weeping willows, I like those. These things are, I mean, they're kind of like weed trees, you know? Uh, I like the weeping willows. Unfortunately, this pond doesn't hold much water. This is a pond here, and in the wintertime, it's full. Right now, we've had, you know, at least four weeks of drought, no rain at all. And uh, when we do get rain, it doesn't stay in here long because this is rock and there's holes in the rock that go downhill, which is this way. And there's just, it seeps into the ground and will not hold water. But to give you an update on the excavator, after we did the work on it, I'd say that uh, it's 90% better. I still hear when I'm swinging, every once in a while, it'll, get, it'll hit something, hit a snag, get stuck on one of those broken teeth. But for the most part, it holds everywhere I go. Before it was slipping, um, and sometimes I could move move it left or right and it wouldn't even move. It was, it was just stuck um, because the, it would spin and just not catch any teeth without all the bolts in there. So having all the bolts in there together and cleaning it out from all that uh, broken teeth, debris, and whatever else was in there uh, really helped it. Uh, so it's usable now. It's not in perfect shape. I still would like to replace the uh, ring gear sometime in the future. That'll be a separate video. Uh, but in order to do that, what I'm going to have to do is find probably a 10 foot or 11 foot piece of what I'd like to get is a uh, uh, like a four inch square, uh, maybe two inch uh, square pieces of steel and just jack up this side, put one on the other side, jack up the other side. And then, um, and then I could take all the bolts off the ring gear, uh, drop it down, pull it out, do work on it, slide it back in, put it back up. So uh, it'll be challenging. I mean, we're talking 16,000 pounds here. This, this boom is gonna weigh a lot. So I'll have to uh, be very careful with that, find a nice flat surface, uh, get several jacks, and a new ring gear is, is not cheap anyway. It's you know probably three thousand uh, dollars for American made. Maybe it's cheaper Chinese made. But uh, anyway, I'll do a little research, and uh, that'd be nice if we could get a new ring gear on here. It'd make for a nice machine. I know this is not a very pretty machine, but it works well. The engine runs so well. The diesel, you can hear it. Um, sounds. I can see in good condition. I probably need to do some maintenance on here. I want to change the hydraulic fluid or at least the filter on it, um, change the oil uh, and do some other maintenance. I haven't even checked the oil, the, the, the air filter in here yet. Probably need to check that. Um, I don't know if it's hold, how well it's holding water. So there's the radiator right there. So in any case, uh, we got more work on it. Hopefully more videos in the future. This might be the end of the video, so thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, just hit the subscribe button. It helps me out, helps the channel out, and allows me to create more videos. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Was I speaking too loud? I mean, I have these things on, plus I have these ear things on, and I, tend, I can barely hear myself, so I'm, I think I'm screaming at the camera right now.